Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Tim Schaefer, uh, Battalion Commander for 2nd Battalion, 44th Air Defense Artillery Regiment. Four months ago, we were an Avenger Short Range Air Defense Battalion. Uh, we were notified of deployment to Afghanistan in support of Operation During Freedom. Since then, we have uh, transitioned the battalion, reorganized, re-equipped uh, to become an indirect fire protection capability battalion, uh, utilizing the land-based phalanx weapon system. We uh, went through our training at both Fort Campbell, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. We arrived here in Afghanistan about six weeks ago. Two weeks ago, we received our land-based phalanx weapon systems, and in that time, we've got those uh, prepared and placed and uh, backfired and in the fight. CRAM program here for Bogdan, the significant importance is protection of soldiers, protection of the force, protection of our capabilities here, be them material or equipment. Uh, as we draw down on Afghanistan and come back to our enduring bases, such as what Bagram is going to be, the indirect fire threat has a high potential to uh, become more significant as the enemy targets us here, tries to disrupt us and cause uh, challenges to our operations from here. Uh, the CRAM system as, as a whole comes in, allows us that freedom of, man of maneuver, allows us the ability to protect our force, protect our equipment uh, from that indirect fire threat and uh, allows us uh, that freedom to operate. What I've got behind me here is a land-based phalanx weapon system. It's a 20 millimeter Vulcan cannon designed to engage and destroy incoming indirect fire threats, mortars, rockets, artillery shells, and uh, fires about uh, 75 rounds a second, a 20 millimeter high explosive. Uh, very capable system we borrowed from the Navy. Same system the Navy uses in on its vessels to protect uh, themselves from uh, missiles, boats, and aircraft.